Seven. A triple nut. Nut. Couple. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. It is session 91, and we're going to jump immediately into a little bit of a recap. Previously, in the Dungeon of the Mad Mage, the party found themselves plying the waters of the River Sargoth in the Twisted Caverns of the fourth level of Undermountain. Their ultimate goal was the destruction of the Aboleth Ilun, whose foul pollution was so strong that members of the Emerald Enclave in Waterdeep had taken note of the creature's presence. Ilun had already defeated and taken the land of a school of Kuatoa, enslaved the minds of a tribe of troglodytes, fended off the attacks of House Avrandir, and made allies with a group of Chul. The Aboleth was firmly entrenched in this place, or at least it was the last time the party had met it. But that had been several days ago, when the party first stumbled upon the Aboleth's lair, defeating its troglodyte horde and slaying several of its jewels. The party had retreated from that conflict, but vowed to return. Now was that time. Their journey down the murky, polluted river took them past the Kuatoa Refuge, where they could see numbers of the fish folk, the numbers of the fish folk were thinning. As the river twisted and an opening led the party into a massive underground lake, they quickly found out why the Kuatoa numbers were thinning. Ilun had not been idle in their absence. The party was attacked by mind-controlled Kuatoa. Wanting to make sure their boat remained unharmed, Matashtai jumped into the waters and despawned the vessel. The party plunged into the murky depths together. Fortunately, Matashtai cast daylight on his drift globe, helping to cut through the murk of the fetid lake. The battle against the Kuatoa became swiftly more complex as Chules arrived to engage the party. Between the Kuatoa's man-catchers and the crustacean's pincers, many members of the party had difficulty maneuvering. Fortunately, Ezra's underwater breathing kept everyone from drowning. After realizing the overwhelming numbers they faced, Ezra cast a spell upon Ashes and Matashtai, granting them the protection of Frost, making it to where the Kuatoa and Chules could do little in the way of damage to the two of them. Slowly, but surely, the fishfolk and crustaceans fell. Then, Ilun showed, leading yet more enemies. More dangerously, though, than the reinforcements, the Aboleth briefly took control of Ash's mind, and when that failed to remain in effect, the aberration quickly surmised the reason why the party was not falling to his hordes. Ezra's magic. Suddenly, minions of Ilun began to target Ezra, and when that failed, the Aboleth took matters into its own tentacles, chasing the mage and beating him repeatedly with those tentacles until, battered and weary, Ezra lost concentration on his spell, just as another wave of Elune's minions arrived. The party finds themselves in dire straits, bones and ashes both quite injured, and Ezra on death's door, engaged with Elune, master of the Twisted Caverns, potentially soon to be master of Waterdeep, then the world. Dun, dun. Dun dun dun! Seems like a and bit much, but okay. It seems like a bit much. Hey, look, calm, calm down. Um, yeah, it just tosses like meteor down the fucking <laughs> the, the well. Look, <laughs> just like you all can dream, Aboleths can dream too. <laughs> they can be confined to a rock, which is cast into a void, never be heard from again. All right, um, we're jumping right in back into the mix um into battle with Ilune and his aboleth or his aboleth hordes oh my god could you imagine aboleth hordes just five of them come out Ooh, of the fucking fuck me man well, it'd be fine in a few great. levels aboleth would be considered a horde <laughs> it'd be fine in a few levels nice yeah, okay I'll, like, I'll keep that in mind it'd be like a terror of aboleth like if we were All 15 right. 15 16 i think you know five six aboleth so at the, at the top of the round 
Matashtai was briefly paralyzed, I believe, by the, uh, the loss of concentration from um, Ezra's spell, correct? That's that's yep. what did you in? Okay. So uh, Matashtai has recovered from that, but that is the end of his turn. And now one of the one of the reinforcements that has arrived, this massive uh, hook horror. Um, this thing is kind of like floundering through the water. The carrion crawlers uh, seem to be much more adept in the water than this thing does, but it is staying, uh, it is staying somewhat, I say afloat, you guys are underwater, but it's maintaining its, uh, its position yeah. in the water. It just Boy. doesn't seem very, I don't know. Anyways. Boy. It's not very aquatic. Moving on. Um, it's going to swing twice at ashes um what what is oh the hooked horror so hook yeah hook. hold on let hook. me let me go he a 19 uh that doesn't hit it um uh, let's see no, no i have a shield out so i have 20 ac okay and Another hook. actually actually i have 21 because i'm also 24 that probably hits him i'll do just okay. about to guess do. all right um, so the this hookor does not have magical uh, uh, weapons. I take seven. So you take seven. S also S seven. worth seven. Of note, I'm not stunned, and I took damage, and I'm under half HP, which means now I get to make wisdom saves. Okay, I will sure. move away from ashes. Gotcha. Icing on the cake. All right. Top of the, or it's not top of the round, but next up is suck it. Um. Seeing the state of the situation, uh, Elune the Aboleth's eyes flash briefly, and Ashes, the inky black tendrils around your legs, disappear. They just vanish. Cool. All right. That, that was a suck it I liked. In turn. Next, Ezra's turn. Like oh, someone else is not gonna like cool. Right. Oh, that's. Yep. That's cool. There's that... no way that's. It. All right. What are you doing, that's... Ezra? <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I. Everyone else sees, or I say everyone else. Everyone sees the water around them go inky black, and you feel this surge into your minds. I need everyone to roll me a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Eight. Oh good, a five. You gotta be I'd like to use my reaction to gain advantage. Wait, wait, you said 14? DC 14, yep. Thank the Lord. Yeah. Okay. Well, moment of truth, am I unconscious? I no, not. you're not. <laughs> Ev uh, Ezra and Bones take six psychic damage. Uh, Ashes takes three psychic damage, and Matashtai takes one psychic damage. No. Yeah, Ezra yet lives. <laughs> God damn. Uh, and it is Ezra's turn. Ezra, you can feel from the previous contact with um, with Elune the Aboleth, you can feel your skin kind of crawling. Is everyone kind of at the surface, or just yeah? You partially? are all you are all approximately uh, five feet below the surface. And I've seen this creature have some form of reach. Do I feel like I've seen the extent of its reach? Uh, you have... Roll me a intelligence check. DC 13. 14. Nice, yeah. Uh, it's it's about 10 feet. Okay. You've, you've seen it repeatedly. It only attacks about 10 feet. It's... The length, the additional length of its tentacles and its tail seems to be about 10 feet. It's a little bit longer than that in totality. It's actually closer to 15 feet, 
but a good portion of that is its body, which does not ex extend its actual reach. So I'm going to take a step, five feet, ten feet of movement, because, you know, swimming. So uh, this... And then I am going to go ahead and... Eight plus a third. Channel a lightning bolt. I'm going to turn it into an acid bolt. Using one sork point. And I'm going to target at this stone structure with the intent of hitting the hooker, the rock boy, and the abolet. So uh, the rock boy is the only one that is actually on a different kind of like plane. He, he's about like 20 feet down. But I would say if you could probably angle it at a a slight decline to where it's going to clip everyone else's bottom and his top. So I need deck saves from all three of them. Okay. Um, we will do... Uh, we will not do the Kuotoa Whip. The Kuotoa Whip has one HP. He dies regardless. Fuck that motherfucker. This is stupid <laughs> ass shit. Fucking... <laughs> Take this stupid ass bane off me. Where's your bane, your bane is gone. You are no longer bane. Reap his soul. Reap uh, it. One, one HP. Fucking god. Look, it happens. You guys sometimes get away on what? Ezra's sitting on three HP right now. So yeah, I already have four. I already have four tokens. I don't need more tokens. All right. Uh, Ilun is going to do a dexterity saving throw. I can't That's get more. Tokens. A failure. Um. To ignore. Uh, no. Um, really? and then the hooked horror. Not hooked horror. Or, sorry, not hooked horror. Yeah, Thorn. you're correct. Thorn. Whoop. Yeah, it'd be the ultimate betrayal if that was somehow mossy. I cry. I cry every day. The Abolith took his mind immediately. I cry every Tim. Okay, so that's a failure and a failure. So, how much damage? 28 acid damage. 28 acid damage. Take acid. And as my bonus action while I'm channeling that and firing it off, I'm going to Tempestuous Magic. And I think I'm going to end my turn there. And before you kill me, I'm going to go make another drink. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Uh. All right. Elune. Witnessing this scenario, like uh, being having this beam of acid being shot through the the green waters, um, some of his scales, like one of his tentacles, getting blasted with it, and and you know, uh, being covered in burns, searing marks, etc. Um, it turns, it watches as uh, as Ezra kind of like pulls back, and it turns to bones sweet love and i love dying baby um so here is tentacle one not on my watch um this is at advantage uh, not anymore way. well uh, no it's still advantage it's still advantage oh, no, sorry okay then all right go ahead then this fine this is fine yeah 26. that will hit uh, uh if i reduce it by six will it not no, no. okay um, I don't believe I have a reaction, so... No? I I highly doubt it. I don't see why I would. I don't know a way to tell. So what, what would, would you have used to dodge? Uh, uh, dodging previously. Liter I guess. Literally anything else that has attacked me? I don't know what else has attacked me, but I'm sure something has. Okay. Mm, I don't know. I don't think anything has attacked you in a Damn while. It, Jeremy, would you please stop? I don't. I don't control this. Minus 16. Okay. Yep. Third attack. 
18. Okay, if you reduce it by two, I'll live. Okay, Ooh, I, I live. I, I'm alive. How did you? Oh, you, there's two dice. Okay, okay. Like, yeah. you can roll a two and get a three. All right, so with Ezra being removed from the situation, um, it seems as if the Aboleth Elune. Uh, with the spell down, no longer considers Ezra to be at least enough of a threat to spend time disengaging from perfectly, perfectly acceptable targets. <laughs> so he just smacks the shit out of Bones repeatedly. Uh, okay, but Bones, you survive. It's your turn. Magically annoyed one of his eyeballs. Magically annoyed. Okay. Um, I will fucking die. Yeah. We don't have a cleric. We don't have. We don't have bacon. No. We need bacon, bacon and, and mass healing word. Well, even bacon and mass healing word would save my ass. We would have had mass healing word if we uh waited. Yeah. Right. Do I get the feeling that flanking works on this person? Um, on, on the Avalon? Fucking master of 3D space. Uh, it, it, the, so the instances where you have realized that flanking doesn't work against creatures is either because the creature is so massive that they, they, or it tends to be because the creature is so massive that you can't really flank them, or it tends to be a creature that is has such incredibly high martial prowess that they're used to fighting in those types of situations. This Aboleth does not seem to be either of those things. Mm. So if you can shimmy over there and survive. really help me, though? It's kind of the same, right? Two attacks and two attacks. I mean... Um, I have to go down. How far down would I have to go to get around them? Oh, well, yeah, I still would have to go down. You'd have I to need go to get here. You'd have to go down to. You'd have to go down ten feet. You're at five feet. You'd have to go down to minus fifteen. You're at. You're at minus, minus five. You'd 15. have to go to minus fifteen. So twenty, thirty feet. Twenty plus. Uh, it's more movement than I can. Okay. So I need 50 feet of movement is what basically we're, we're getting at. That sounds about I right. Can, I can do that. Cat dashing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I cat dash, uh, bonus action disengage, and I fucking swim on over here. You know, down yeah. and below and shit. Yeah, gotcha. Sure. And your Kuatoa poker is very sad to see you go. I thought he was dead. No, uh, different other, the one to your right. <laughs> the, the last of the Kuatoas. Okay, well, then I attack at advantage the wind spike and... Oh. All right. That's a crit? Oh, that's a crit? That's a crit. <laughs> that's a crit. You might die, but that's a crit. Make a tank? Hey. Uh, All right. Hey. Whales in the grave. Two, okay. Three d six to um. The ku. What? The care. The kuato has been here the whole time. Is he hurt? Uh, yeah, he's taken wounds. Okay, the fourteen of the kuato. He does. Fuck yeah. Little fish piece of shit. Psychic energy streaks out from the uh, the tendrils, the tentacles of the Aboleth, shoots back behind. And Matasha, you can actually see the the blow that Bones delivers to cause this, but you see the familiar inky tendrils shoot out behind and slam into this Kuatoa and it just like withers and down into the into the abyss. That's my turn. Okay. How much was your total damage to Illum? Uh, 
11 42. plus 31 is 42 damage. Okay. 42 damage. Collapse the outcropping upon the foes. Good luck. All right, that's the end of your turn. Okay. Yes. End of your turn. Illuna is going to use a legendary action to make a tail attack against you. Okay. I got no more. I got no more. Oh God! Ooh. My life flashed before my eyes. Wow! Double nat one. Double critical failure. I Damn. Voted. His you should have to roll it twice. I vote his tail's gone forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's two right. critical failures. That's uh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. That's unfortunate. You you yet live. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'm sure there's, there's yeah. plenty of stuff to take care of that. So. Uh, there is a flash from Ilune's eyes, um, and. <laughs> This carrion crawler leaves no. your threat range, Ashes, to go after Ezra. I use my reaction to cast oh. uh, Eyeless. Yeah. Oh. I cannot, gotcha. I cannot attack it. You are correct. Um, all right. Ezra. Uh, the creature whips out at you with its tentacles, trying to, trying to grab you. Uh, we oh. 11. Oh, that's hey, a miss. Hey, and then it's huge, it's hulking form. It's this big, almost like gelatinous, right? It's like a mold of jelly that just ripples and shakes. Um, it leans forward and it kind of like narrows, 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 narrows. And you see its face extend and this horrid, gnarled, multi-tooth moss extend out to try to bite oh, your head off. Like, like, a, like a goblin shark that grows Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. yep. 17. Oh, no. Wrong thing. <laughs> okay. Shield. <laughs> shoo, shield comes up. Just he defends. Just armor. repels the carrion crawler's attack. Ezra lives for yet another round. Um, this carrion crawler is going to scooch. Scooch magooch. I'd rather Gooch not. Or what? <laughs> Gooch, yeah. Magooch. No, no, no Magoochin, please. So it is going to use its action to dash into melee with ashes. Steven Magooch. Uh, this guy is dead. Kuoto, no more Kuoto Whip. Um, Treasury Secretary. This drow swimming through the water has a short sword pulled out. A short sword? Short sword? Scimitar? Bladed weapon? Short sword. Um, pulls out, engages Matashtai, and starts stabbing. Did. Oof. Oh my oh. god. Oh, he'd be a stabbing. Yeah, that'll do. 22. Um, actually, uh, ignore the poison damage, because it is not in effect here. I was going to say, I saw the Well, that, really that works. Old. Well, it's... it's one, he's been mind control for a while, so he's not actually been like, you know, he doesn't have his own poison stores. And two, even if he did, swimming around in a lake like this, it would not I'll have remained on his blade. So, yeah. 10 piercing, and regardless, Matashtai doesn't give a fuck about me poison, so. Ugh. That's true. All right. Number two attack. Miss. No. Miss. What if, what if next turn <clears throat> items are fresh, guys? What if that happens? Kuatoa, done. <laughs> Ashes, <laughs> you're up. All right, I first like took a wisdom save <laughs> because I'm under half, took damage. The DC is a pitiful 11, but I can fail. Okay. And I do. Okay. I attack the nearest creature with the regular attack. Well, before that. Three people, three nearest creatures. To verify. Yeah. Uh. I have way too much information on this, but here. Yeah, yeah. Hold, under hold up lust. before before you start going ham. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do anything. Um, I'm going ham. Did ham on hmm. melon. Did you succeed on the the saving throw? 
just now? Oh, you already... No, 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 no. Ezra's saving throw. No, I was stunned last turn. Uh, you were stunned the last turn, but last, you're not like, anymore. Yeah. Last gotcha. session, I was stunned. Okay, understood. Gotcha, you're cool. Okay, so you so... failed, which means you have to attack uh, the nearest target. You have mm -hmm. three targets near you. We're going to do Abeleth is one, Hooktor is two, Carrion Crawler is three. Roll a d3. I mean, assuming that that's how, you know, it doesn't, yep, it just says you choose it random, right? Yeah, you randomly determine. All right. Yay. You're hitting, you're hitting the Abla. At least it says you and can I choose wish to use to, your extra I choose to also hit with my uh, extra attack. So. Yeah, I choose to grant him advantage. All right. This is okay. all working out great. Breaking win. <laughs> advantage is what I wanted to do anyways. All right. Uh, oh, I thought that was a crit. God damn right, you. 28. Stupid monster. 28 hits. Absolutely. That is uh, 16 damage. 16 damage. Okay. Uh, I swing once more. Crit. Oh, damn. Ah, oh, so close. That's a hit. For an additional... 13. 12, That's, sorry. Uh, 12 damage. And after shaking off my blood rage, I'll be like, oh, shit. I drink a potion. Okay. Can you actually do that? Uh, I have a button yeah. for that. Ignore, ignore the feral You then mind. regain control of the remainder of your turn. Awesome. Very cool. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sweet. Okay, so 12 HP from the greater healing potion. Dope. Oh. Okay. Now nah, he gets five more from feral mind. He's fucking hard. Yeah, man. yeah, right. And that's the end of your turn? That's the, yeah, that's the end of my turn. All right. Um, <clears throat> Abelope tries to kill me again. Uh, actually, yeah, I, I Diablo cannot, tries to uh, kill you again. Um, yeah, no. Tail attack. I have anything I can do as a... I miss it! It's a miss. Oh, my oh my god. god. Yes! Oh my god. What's your AC? 17. God damn. Okay. Um, or less. The Zorn... <laughs> is struggling swimming up you can see it has its three uh kind of like hooked cl clawed arms that are just just like propeller blades trying to like pull it up through the water and it's kicking its way up it's about 20 feet down um and it takes all of its movement to just get into range of matashtai and then it goes it surges forward and it basically like tries to shark matashtai from beneath uh, no. ah. So here is a bite. It's a miss. And then after t making that attack, it plunges back down in the water at 10 feet, back to where it started. It's too oh, it's too heavy. As soon as it stops to do anything, it immediately sinks again. So are the so these things don't breathe underwater. I'm just assuming this thing's like does it care? Does the apple of care if the creature's alive or not? So there. so you're looking at them. Most of these are glassy-eyed, and many of them do have, like, slits on their necks, and they're, like, covered in mucus and fungus. Or not not fungus, like uh, algae, right? Um, yeah. These creatures do seem slightly mutated from their original form. Okay. So they have a little bit of elementals. Minimum. So yeah. The fuck knows? Anyways... Good to know. Cool. Okay, cool. Zorn misses. <clears throat> Matashtai. Top of the round, you have a you have a drow to the right of you. You have a Zorn twenty feet down. He's not in base to base with you. Um, Elun the Abeleth is flanked by bones and ashes. Bones and Ezra are both on death's door, and you know the suck it turn is coming back around. So what do you want to do? It's not good, man. It's not good. I might save. Well, I know I'm not, because I can't. Why can't I'm you eating just so I many attacks of opportunity if I try to get over there. Oh, over where? To Ezra. 
Everyone oh, the help. Ezra? Oh, yeah. Ezra. There's a oh, there's yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. in between you and Ezra. A whole lot. Um, question. Yeah. So, um, Potential this board of rage that we have, uh, remind me what that does again? Is this grant rage? Uh, yes. Okay. Is that an action or a bonus action to drink that? That is an... Ooh, I think... I think we've talked about this in anything the, outside of healing is anything a, outside of healing is an action i believe yeah. bones didn't you when you drank your wisdom potion did you you do it as an action or a bonus action i did it as a full action as a full action yeah okay yeah. so yeah then that's that is what we have been doing anything you guys can chug potions of healing as bonus actions as a house rule but any any other potion is a full action unless it says otherwise um all right wait i'm gonna risk the attack of opportunity from the drow okay he will try to stab you drow goes swingy 19 that hits yep. that hits yep okay uh eight piercing damage all right okay i'm gonna swim over her what what you doing over here kill the boy I'm going to kill the boy and heal you. Oh, well. I'm going like to try and do both. Do you protest? I guess not. I don't I protest. <laughs> okay. All right. I attempt to stab the Aboleth. That's a hit. Okay. I attempt to stun him with that. Oh, please. Uh, this is why he didn't. I oh, mean, he's, he's just going to use legendary resistance, but. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Right. Well, there goes a legendary res. Abeleth is stunned. Oh, what hey! the fuck? Does he only right. have one? No, I don't know. Put it on the that. list. I mean, Put to be on the fair, list. he is a low, like he's not like a super high level boss. He... All right. Okay. Um... Put him on the list. Put Shit, him on the list. Maybe I should. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's going on the list. Asshole. Um, okay, then I'm going to... There is there is a sudden look of shock on Alun's face as you connect. You you rear back and stab into the side of his open maw and you kind of like twist Tond Bakiri and rake it up the side and slam it into the side of kind of like where you, where you might assume like a creature like this his temple would be. Um, and you see Somewhere. all of his eyes begin to kind of like rapidly blink. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, then I'm going to stab at one of the eyes with advantage. That's a hit. Okay. Uh, I'm then going to use Flurry of Blows. Monk shit. Monk, Monk shit. shit. Monk shit. And then Damn. I'm going to heal Bones. Okay, so or the the unarmed five. strike is an actual hit, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I have been healed. I may now survive 28 damage as long as I have a reaction. Sorry, 27 damage as long as I have a reaction. That is the end of my turn. Okay. Hook Tor is up. It's going to take uh, two claw swipes at ashes again kind of like floundering in the water it kind of like reaches past you with this giant hook ashes and tries to rake you towards it with it right um does not have advantage because Ilune is stunned damn side attack big wow. miss wow damn i vote he hooks oh hook okay um cool. he goes to swing a second time um and okay what happens is, is as he's kind of, he, again, he's got these, these mutated gills. He's got these glassed over eyes, right? But he's still not an aquatic beast. He's not used to moving in the water. His huge bulk is kind of like throwing him off. And he swings past Ashes. Ashes just kind of like tucks under the blow. And as he's doing that, the, the momentum carries him forward. And he's trying to also swing with the other blade. And he basically tangles himself and tries to to maneuver in such a way that the hooks go towards the carrion crawler, but he misses the attack on the carrion crawler. So, 
Um, he is ineffectual. Ineffectual. In Hello. all parts of life. The Aboleth is unable to use a layer action because he's stunned. Yeah! Shit! Yeah. Yeah. Shit! Monk yeah. shit! Monk yeah. shit! Monk shit! shit. <laughs> So Ezra doesn't just die out of, you know, out of residual AOE damage. It still happened. <laughs> yeah, not not yet anyways. Not um, okay, Ezra, you're up. You're probably our last turn alive, Ezra. <laughs> Somehow still alive. Ezra's gonna shift to a better perspective and again oh. this time up casting it with his last fourth level a acid lightning bolt same kind of targets doing like a, a downward angled line so you can try to hit the zorn as well yeah if, if possible I, obviously um, Abeleth is the primary target here so I'm yeah. further away, so the trigonometry is a it little... It should uh, be possible. Yeah, the, the trigon it is a little more complicated. I think probably I'm going to give the... I don't think it's going to matter, but I'm going to give the Zorn advantage on the saving throw because of the angle. So, okay, sure. Um, all right, so <laughs> carry and crawler first. Dexterity. Success. Takes 15 acid damage. Abeleth. Stun people always fail. Takes always. You're correct. They always damage. fail. He failed anyways. Zorn oh, with advantage. Okay. Still fails. All right, so how much? 30. 30. 30 now. Okay. 15 half. 15. 30. And then again, Tempestuous Magic to shift away from combat. All right. Okay. Um. Right. Bro, gotta be looking rough. Uh, it's well, like it's, damage. it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell what the physiology G of like such Aberration. aberrant creatures uh, yeah. are. Um, but yeah. yeah, he's covered in streaks of like blistered wounds from Ezra's acid bolts. Right, he's got multiple slash marks and stab wounds across his body. So, you know, um, and he ends his turn unstunned now. But that is the end of his turn. Bones, you're up. Do it. Finish him. Fuck Finish him. him. So I, 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 I don't pressure. think he's anywhere close to being dead. I but. believe in you, man. Just a big, another big crit like that last one. Just need, like, maybe 120 damage. <laughs> okay, hold on. 120. Yeah, I think I can do that. Okay, uh, he's got this. He's got it. Total, total right, belief. It, advantage <clears throat> wind spike. That's not a crit. Is it... Does it hit, though? It does hit. Okay, well, Maybe. snake attack. I'm... Not, not gonna play. Yep. Not not playing with fate. Yeah. Roll three d six to um, Ezra's carry on crawler. Okay. Um, so another tendril Ezra. of darkness fires off, hits the carry on crawler. It's it yet lives. I don't remember what I have in my offhand. Your damage it... was thirty one. Oh, thirty one. Yeah. Magical, yep. of course, because it's wind yep. spike. Gotcha. Um, the uh, the Aboleth doesn't seem to have resistance to to non magical damage or anything like that. Well, I've spent a long career building up only magical weapons. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's fair. So, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. And All then right. Offhand. I am a magical weapon. Sure. Um, It'd be real sad if you actually crit this. It is what it is. I will yeah. roll normal bone dag because again, I haven't made an offhand yet. Three damage, and um, he is bleeding. Okay. Three, and he is bleeding. A red mark. He's bloody. Gotcha. He's, he's been bloodied, and that's all I can do. At the end of your turn, uh, the Aboleth strikes out at you with a tail. Yeah, it's expected and fair. Oh, uh, misses. oh, oh my god. The gods I am a cat here, in water. He has I a plus a nine. <laughs> He has a well, plus, plus nine. nine. He can't hit a 17. <laughs> the dice. He nearly did a minute ago. The, the dice have turned against me. Just that. Does critical uh, role have built in fudging? All right. Uh, Carrion Crawler 
it continues does, to, it's well it's, it's got, continuing to oh, geez, chase but... after ezra as it was told to do well i tell it to stop um it makes a tentacle attack against ezra 16 shield up Good it's Lord. gonna try to bite you 18 is negated by the shield <laughs> ezra survives he yet lives. Again. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, what is your AC with shield up? 19. 19. 19. Yeah. Carrion Crawler 21. against Ashes, Tentacles. 21. That'll 27. Do. Oh, Lord. I'm resistant to poison though. Okay, so you take three poison damage. Right, and I need you to me. make a DC 13 constitution saving throw at advantage. Okay. Because I believe you have advantage against poison. I do. Right? Yeah, that's the infernal constitution. 21. Yay! Thank you for the advantage. Thank you for the advantage. You're not paralyzed. Awesome. Yeah. Um, He's already had that once. This, it so. tries to bite you and fails. And fails. Okay. Um, good. And you're back to chewing on styrofoam. Yeah, Jeremy? absolutely. Um, <laughs> Jeremy was that kid. Mm -hmm. Oh, I chew Still on is. everything. Absolutely. What do you 100%. have? A knife! <laughs> Get that out of your mouth. Uh, what That's why you do don't go swimming have... in the water. <laughs> uh, no. Hold on. Okay, I don't think there's actually enough. Well. Okay, so the drow just pursues. Pursues. Do not pursue Lubu. Pursue the Lubu. Um, two short swords <laughs> against uh, Matashtai. Short sword. A knife! No! Yeah, that'll do. That's a crit. Um, oh, you're immune no. to the poison. It, do it doesn't have the poison, anyways, though. So you take 12 piercing um, and a 19. Uh, that hits too. Another 10 piercing. Did you roll like literally anything lower? No, apparently I can um, only hit you. Apparently I mean, only not you. Accurate. It's not, it's not you, you got to You got to get not hit the entire first half of this fight. The entire last hit half, it's well, only I got you. hit. I was just healing yeah, myself. Yeah, you got hit like three times. I for took baby 40 damage. damage in the beginning of this fight. Baby damage. All right, baby. it's Ashes. Uh, all right, so I took damage. I'm still under half HP. Uh, uh -huh. DC 11 wisdom saving throw to maintain my. It's, it's he did, he did it. Close. He's good. a guy. Nice so I'm sitting here. I'm wet. I don't like it. I'm angry. It's dark. I'm cold. Oh, no, nope, it's fine. All right, Ableth, I see Kill you. It. Attack. Kill it. Burst mechanics. Kill it. Burst it. Burst Attack mechanics. It. P PSC burst. My burst. Um, that's it. Uh, fourteen. Um, as the Aboleth's eyes begin to stop rapidly blinking, it comes out of the stun delivered upon it by Matashtai. Um, it begins to screech. Your your minds are filled with this garbled language, this horrified, angry, terrified, frustrated screaming. And as it begins to feel the the sword slicing into its back, you all hear the sudden no, 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 and then silence as ashes kills Elune the Aboleth. Hell yeah. I take the sword, yeah. I rip it out. Ashes to ashes. Dust it. Fuck off with that shit. All right. <laughs> Fuck I, off. I I you like, don't get to use it that anymore. That anymore. I, swear. I didn't know we were doing anime catchphrases. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, please do. That I'm sorry. Terrible. Look, I had once. I wanted to win. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, anything else for your turn, Ash? Uh, yeah, I still have a second attack. I really hope uh, these things like leave. <clears throat> uh, in fact, I'm going to arms on my side, dolphin swim. Uh, 
let's see. How much movement do I get? I have uh, 45 oh, speed. Sorry. So... I'm gonna dolphin swim over here. Oh, uh, don't so, forget. Oh yeah, you you got you got great movement because you actually have swimming. Yeah, dolphin swimming. Uh, so the hooked horror and the carry on worm whatever are gonna have opportunity attacks. They do not take opportunity attacks against you. You look at them as you are swimming past them, and you see the glassiness in their eyes begin to kind of fade and they begin to kind of like flounder and flail around themselves C clearly in confusion and panic okay uh don't care still going to attack the stupid worm with my Baby second bird. second attack okay uh 14 hits wow all right for uh <clears throat> 11 <clears throat> damage damage um it uh is still alive Okay, well, um, in turn. Why? No, no, you can't fight. You got shield out. Never mind. A time shield, just like the old days. <laughs> Historically accurate. In the next few moments, it becomes clear to all of you that the minions of Elune with the Aboleth's dead death um, have lost their mind control. Um, the carrion crawlers and the hooked horror um, begin to panic and begin to flail around themselves and they begin to move away from all of you as quickly as they can. Um, they don't you don't see as you, you watch them, right, you see the glassiness from their eyes goes away, but the kind of like mucus-covered, uh, algae-covered gills, right, um, the, the mutations to their body, that does not leave. Um, that actually remains. And you watch as the carrion crawler and, and the hooked horrors the carrion crawlers and the hooked horror um, try to flee. Do you impede them in any fashion? I don't think so. There's mostly an ashes question right now, I think. No. Okay. Uh, so not, not now that the not because I'm not dead. willing, it's just that do it. We have we have allies that are more important to be make sure they're safe and freaking. Okay, these guys I, begin I, to I leave. Look at them though. I'll give them the the, the fingers. Uh, Matashtai and Bones, you are still able to kind of like uh, see nearby. You watch as the Zorn just stops flailing and Rude. sinks out of sight. I'm assuming he's just gonna reach the bottom and meld. Um. However. The drow, poof, eyes come back, right? Um, finds itself, like, in the water, short sword drawn up against you, Matashtai. Blinks a few times, looks at you, and, and seems to have this kind of, like, look of recognition, right? And then tries to pull back from you ever so slightly. Oh, please tell me this is the asshole that gave us fucking 20 questions. Do you do anything? Uh, no. I, I, okay. I take my weapon and kind of, like, put it up. All right, he pulls away from you just slightly, and then he goes and he surfaces. Um, I'm going to surface as well and try to talk to him. And in the following moments, it feels as if battle ends, and you're no longer... All well, some of you are still on death's door, but you're no longer threatened in the immediacy. All right, so thanks for such the low for such low roll. Fuck off, man. fuck off. I'm, I'm so I mad really right it. now. I don't Excuse like, me, I, I want to kill someone. I want you guys to no, 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 no. I want you guys to win, right? But then getting into the scenario and like miss, 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 miss. 
Get stunned. Get fucked. Function. Like, like fuck me. I, like, I I really am happy that I got a uh eyeless curse to actually prevent somebody from going down. Okay. So I think we did that with nobody in capping, right? Uh yeah, it was very close. No knocks. Um in the next few moments, the the wavering forms of the carrion crawlers and the hooked horror disappear right um they kind of turn in the into the you know the scenario of like these are beasts these are creatures right i guess they're monstrosities and technic technicality but they they act like um like like actual creatures right they're in these this throw of fight or flight right now and they have chosen flight um so they disappear into the distance Um, the Zorn is gone, and then as, uh, you surface, Matashtai, right, the, um, the Drow doesn't stick around to just talk to you. He begins to swim, um, east, southeast towards the island in the center of the lake. What are the rest of you doing? Meet him. I'll so be like, like hey, hold on, hold on my shoulders, Ezra. I got yeah. this. I, I kind of okay. help pull, uh, Bones along as well. What? I grab, I grab, I grab an Aboleth tentacle. An Aboleth tentacle. <laughs> well, like, what, gonna drag for, for, for what Aboleth purpose? Are you like trying to island. carve it off, or are you taking no. like trying yeah, to drag I'm the corpse? We might be here for a little bit, Jeremy. So I will say the uh, the corpse drag of the, whole thing. the the corpse of the body, or the corpse of the body, the corpse of the Aboleth, um, actually seems relatively buoyant. And the current is pushing it in towards the lake rather than out towards the river. Okay, well, if it's not going to disappear, I guess I don't burden Matash die more. I mean, it might It'll disappear. It might disappear in a few minutes, but it's not going to disappear right this second. Like, it's not sinking to the bottom or being swept away by a current or anything. I tell you what, like, if, if we're, we're going to, like, do shit and you're going to go talk to the monk, I would help swim Ezra to the bank. And then knowing that... Uh, Bones would Wait, be very interested in. Joke, in... You're Do gonna what? go sacrifice me? Is that is that what we're doing? Oh, by <laughs> the way, kill the drow first. By the way, now that you guys get uh, closer, I'm assuming some of you are actually getting closer now. Um, you get to see this. That is the art for this level. Oh, cool! Look at that. Yeah. Pretty neat. Art. I like how that statue back there looks nothing like a statue. It looks yeah. like a very real and alive creature. Well, you know. Well, you know. Alright. No, that's cool. Whoa, that's a statue? Holy shit. Yeah, supposedly that's a, that's a statue, despite the fact it has a token. And I think it's more accurately a petrified OT hook. <laughs> Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> that shit's crazy, dude. Hey. But yeah, we try to drag the Abloth over to the island. All right, yeah. Sure. Right, once once we all get ashore, I, I feel like I could probably, if it's buoyant and the current's helping, I yeah, could probably you, get you it. Yeah, you guys can do a decent enough job of uh, getting it over there. Okay, there we go. All right, so... You guys make your way towards the central island. The drow distances himself. He doesn't, like, ignore you or anything like that, but it looks like he's checking over his gear, checking over his body, right? Like, um, he keeps on fiddling with the, the mutations, the gills, right, on his neck. Um, and he seems very, like, um, very disoriented uh, initially. Um, it kind of gives you guys a second to actually, like, drag the corpse of the Aboleth up onto the beach, actually beach it, and um, continue on from there. What do you want to do? Uh, um, as that starts happening, I start casting a dome. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when and immediately it's... start casting a dome. <clears throat> All right. Does the drow look familiar? Hmm... Is he one of the ones that was with us when we were sent on this quest? Um, he looks somewhat familiar. 
Um, it's possible that he was one of the ones there at the encampment, but... Um, but it was you're... like the one talking. No, yeah, it wasn't the one that you were talking to. Um, there is... Uh, uh, there's a clasp on his cloak that you have seen before. It's the um, it's a scarab uh, that uh, has the scarab sigil mark. of House Avrindar on it. So um, you can clearly mark him as one of those individuals, just not He's one. He's at least related to some some way. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> then I try talking to him and I say, uh, "You got your mind about you?" Then kind of like. He's got this tick, and he seems like his head's, like, really fucking with him, um, but he, he kind of responds. Are, are you talking to him in Undercommon? Sorry, uh, did you ask if I was saying in Undercommon? Gotcha. Um, so he he kind of, like, um, he replies back to you, and it's kind of like he uh, he's thick-tongued, kind of like he's a little um, drunk or something like that. He says... Something is not right. Yeah, yeah. Seem to do something to you. He's kind of like he look. He looks like he's gonna bar for a second, um, and then he he kind of like drops to his hands and knees, right, um. And then he almost kind of like instinctively, um, he begins to clutch at his throat. Um, and you can see his face is, it's already a, it's already a dark shade, but it's darkening further. You should go hold his hair back. Um, does he look like he's choked, like he can't breathe? Yep. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run over and I'm gonna say, you need to breathe water, man. I'm gonna put him in the water. <laughs> you shove him in the water. Yeah. Hold his head down. There's uh, there's this weird moment right where he kind of like struggles Shit. against you. Oh god, you. I gotta take the uh, off. But at the same time, he is uh, he's choking, <laughs> right? Um, so he's got this. He's it's a weak resistance that he puts up against you. So you're basically like you drag this drow oh, across the shore and then just like shove him into the water and, and you're holding him under the water for a second. Um, and then the resistance stops and you drowned him. <laughs> it, <laughs> hold him down there until he stops kicking. It, it, he, he stops kicking and you, you feel this pat on your arm um, and uh. it's the drow kind of like acknowledging the situation. Okay, uh, so I let go of him, and then since his head's underwater, I'm going to speak to him telepathically instead this time. Yeah. And I'll say, you all right now? So I, as you kind of, like, release him um, and speak out to him, he kind of rolls a little bit and puts more of his body in the water and kind of, like, rights himself just slightly to where he's... Or rights himself. He twists his himself so where he's kind of, like, on his back. So the gills are kind of, like, still in the... He's kind of, like, floating, basically, at the edge of the beach. Um, and uh, he, he just looks dazed and bewildered. Um, and he responds to you in his head and he says, what? I can't live like this. I'll be honest, I, I don't know much about what, what it did to you, but... Might only be temporary. Give, give it a day or two. Call me in the morning. It could be Marsock for the drown. Yeah, so he has this kind of just morose response. He says, and what if it's not? What do I do then? Mm, there's always ritual I'm... suicide. <laughs> wait, uh, wait. If not, I'm sure wait, your right, client... Time out. What if I gave him? Wait, no, that doesn't work. Nope. I was gonna say if I give him the hood and he puts it up, he's still gonna like. <laughs> He'll just need twice the amount of water. Yeah. Because <laughs> nice. it's not like, yeah, that's. Let's fashion him yeah. a bowl. Let's get him a diver helmet that we can fill with water. Um, I say, um, well, if 
nothing else. I'm sure your clan could use the one and only underwater scout they have. He looks at you and he just... You, you see... You see uh, disgust. You see a little bit of revulsion. Right? Like, both for himself, but also a little bit for you. Right? Um, and, and he says... My clan... Speak as if I am so desired or useful. I will be but one in a list of deaths for the house. I will be a freak in their eyes, a torture, or a a, a, a what would he say? He says basically like a, a slave to their desires, their tortures. So, you know, just a regular drow. That's real weird. You want to join me? You want to be part of my faction? Uh, this is happening in Matashtai's head. Yeah, you can't. You can't. I can't respond to that, then. <laughs> um, I'll say... Uh, and if you, get, if you get cured, is that something you want to go back to? They like that shit. Um, all right. Uh, morale test. DC is high. S 15. Seven. <laughs> Dude, that's gotta you, count for something. You, I call you, it. you don't see... This drow doesn't seem to comprehend your statement. Like, like there's not, there's not another option in the drow's mind. Like, the, the house is, is everything. Well, um, you can hold off for. I don't know what time it is, but you can hold off for a few hours while we get some rest. I might have something that could help you, but it's no guarantee. I could do nothing else. All right, well, uh, why don't you hang around here? Uh, we'll get our bearings here, get patched up, um, and then I'll see what I can do for you, all right? He doesn't respond. He's, okay, you, you just watch him, like, he just closes his eyes like he's just resigned. Okay. Alright. Um, while that is happening, Ezra is casting a dome. That takes ten minutes. Okay, and while that is happening, uh, Ashes and Bones have been doing what? Hey, Jay, what did I agree to bring the drought? Did I agree to bring an Aboleth head? Aboleth head? No, no, absolutely not. What? I agreed to bring them something, right? Some sort of proof of death. Aren't you the no. master of quests? I'm tr I, I didn't. I don't have it written down. It's my my notes are really slim. I need to work on that. But no, I'm pretty confident we did not promise them any trophies. You know, they just said. I just have. They asked us to kill the Kuatoa and the Avalith. What, was it a thousand K, gold each? One K each. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I remember the gold number. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, anyways, like we don't have to give it to him as proof. We can just be like, "Here's our receipt, Abeleth tentacle." I mean, I, you need to get a tentacle for anything. Um, hmm. Do do Abeleth even have like a a bone structure? Are they like are like cephalopods where it's like a beak just, and everything else is just like flesh. I don't know. I got a poke in their bones in there. Um, bones? so the vast majority of it is, uh, very much like a cephalopod. Um, not really much of a skeletal structure to speak of. Okay. Uh, excepting in the head body region. Um, it does not have, it does not have a beak. It has 
uh, about an inch and a half um, sized fangs or teeth, right? Um, it's got about 20 or 30 of those in this big circular maw, right? Um, they're really unevenly like spaced. Like a lamprey. Yeah, like a lamprey. Um, but there are also, there's some sort of like skull circular structure um, inside its kind of like face or head. Okay, well, I, I just... I want the tail as proof of death, obviously. Not the whole tail, like the tip of the tail. The That's swim part. Easy <laughs> enough. It has a big fin on it. Yeah, it's mine now. Okay. Um, I don't know that I want anything else. He kind of sucked. Okay. While that is being discussed... He a brain. Brains um, good. You all see splashing in the water to the southwest. Go, oh, fish ashes. Is, is my dome still not up? Uh, no, it's still not up. This is only about five minutes into the all scenario. Right. Well, I still have uh, a swim speed, so... And I mean, you, you see as the waters churn for a few moments, and um, then popping up at the surface are a few kuatoa, and then oddly, a... Frog, frog folk. Frog boy. All kind of swimming up out of the uh the the murky depths. But as they reach the surface and they see you all on the shore and they see this this huge the corpse of this avaleth, they begin to freak out and panic, and the Kuatoa immediately bolt. Um, they immediately just like disperse, poof, right back into the water, like you know, like fish do or like turtles do yeah. with the head, like the I head out, and then they're like, poof, things. they're just down. Um, so so the, does, does the bullywug look familiar? The Kuatoa immediately flee. The bullywug, its, it's frog head, kind of like up out of the water, just stares at you with these big, blinking eyes. Well, hey there. Salute to it. Mm. I wave my bloody hand. It's I'm cutting up. You got, slop, you got slop. the, you got the avalanche tail. Just like, hey. It's like that, that, that scene of uh, it using a severed hand to wave. Uh, the, am the ambergris is mine. The, the bullywug kind of very slowly swims closer, and it swims around. Um, the Abeleth in a pretty wide arc um, and then the kind of thing? like you know onto the shore um, over look by like the Ezra. Bullywugs that we know um, we know Bullywugs? yeah we know like four yeah we saved a bunch remember from a, the Menagerie a while ago and you met them for like an no, hour so that. it's yeah well yeah, they are so best bad. friends so so shut up. best friends best friends um the creature croaks, and it looks at Matashtai, and it taps its head. Yes, okay. he knows. Um, I, hey, uh, maybe I alien don't... recognizes alien. Alien magic. <laughs> um, so it has this deep voice in your head, and it just goes, "It has been some time, water giver." Oh. <gasps> It is the one we sit. One of the ones we saved. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta double check to see if I got all their names. Um. Okay, I got all their names, but I don't know which one this is. So Faramay. Oz, Ask, Izu, and Risk. That's what I have. Okay. Um. Kaz? Question Ooh. mark. I am Risk. Rest in peace. <laughs> risk in peace. Had a twenty-five percent chance. Fuck it. He took it. <laughs> um, what brings you here, Risk? I thought y'all went home. We plied waters south after Guy did us. The river was good for a time, but then the waters grew foul. 
he he doesn't he describes them he doesn't uh, have a name for them um but he basically describes the chules right that wow. he and the others were attacked and they tried to make their they tried to just escape and he was captured and then afterwards he remembers coming face to face with that thing and he points at a loon and he says then all was darkness i have felt time past but remember little of it oh shit were, was were he the others captured as well i do not believe so they tried to come after me but the chules he, he, again, he doesn't call them jewels, but he just describes them as basically like big lobster claws. Gotcha. Um, you know, he says they could not. All right. Um, well, um, we're probably going to take a breather here. Kind of had a tough fight with this guy here. Um, kind of nods. Who rolls does... like shit? A... Hey, where'd he? Where'd they come from? Powerful beast. Why weren't they in the fight? Um. Uh, out of curiosity, where where'd you come from? Um, seems like he didn't send you into the fight against us. If he was controlling you. Um. He kind of points southwest and he says, "Um." Blinks. Cave. Underwater entrance. Secret lair, I think. Secret lair! Secret lair! The lair! In the mountain. Um, well, you need any food, any water? Um, we're gonna take a rest here. You we'll want water yet us. again? I got it to give. And I kind of pull out the big cask again. You must be very powerful where you come from. Wouldn't say Once I'm not. Are broken. <laughs> 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 oh shit! All right. Okay. Um, it is during this time period that Ezra is able to finish the casting of the dome. Whoa. Um. You all begin to rest up. Um, mm -hmm. About five minutes after the casting of the dome, you feel your magic items refresh. Sweet. Very great. Uh, very I'll look over to uh, Matash and uh, <laughs> You guys were very I'll... close. <laughs> you just didn't. You didn't wait. So, so we're short. We're shortened, obviously, right? Yeah. Okay. We're not longing, cause sweet lord, I am longing. Can we? Didn't we just long? Yeah, I, th I think we just like longed not too long. Ten ago. hours ago. Ten hours is not very long ago. Yes, do show I, short I am very light on everything. Fun fact. So well, don't well, expect me to be useful if we do anything he's real. A trip stick for a bit. I mean, to be fair, I don't think we're looking to pick a big fight. Yeah, I'm wow. also. Hold on, wasn't our plan after this to like go back up and have some leisure yeah. time? Yeah, I yeah think so. that was our plan. Let's do that, please. Well, can we do both? Yes. Long, long rest and also leisure time. Okay, before I roll eighteen hundred hit dice, are we long resting or not? I'm not gonna tell you guys that you got you know, that you can't long rest, but if you, you know. it seems irresponsible in the middle of a cave, cave island. I mean, we have things to finish up down here, and that's the unfortunate truth. What what do we have to finish up down here? I mean, you want to turn in your fucking tail tentacles to get your thousand gold or whatever. It's like a quick in and out. Hey, we did it. Here you go. Until they decide we're weak and vulnerable and try and kill us and not yes. pay us. That's why we're short-resting, so we can get our HP back. 
Yeah, that's why we're short resting. All right, I'm just gonna use all my hit dice then, I guess. Dude, there's yeah. no fucking way. I mean, we just killed. Was, we just killed that was the, the thing. Plan anyways, right? We just killed the thing that has been fucking with them forever, and that they couldn't do. There's no way, dude. Yeah, no, but then we're weak and they don't have to pass, and the thing is dead. Yay, well, done. Um, after the short rest and magic items come back, um, I walk over. Uh, to... this is this is worth a note. As you are short resting, towards the end of the short rest, Ezra, you begin to feel a tightness in your chest. Awesome, because I haven't already had that for the last. And it becomes hard to breathe. Well, that's not good. And you all watch as quite suddenly Ezra's face begins to go purple. As he begins uh, to clutch I, I at, his at his neck. neck. I look at his neck for gills. There are little slits at the base of his throat. I go give him a swirling. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> okay. Thank God. Okay. Uh, okay. So. That's it. come out. All right. So I go. Well, if, so first of all, if we notice Ezra starting to go yeah, back, I, I start feeling first. Um, start checking each other. I'm gonna run over to Ezra. It seems like Ezra is the only one that has any odd mutations. See, First thing I'm going to try is I'm going to expend a key point to Hand of Healing him. With Hand of Healing, I have Physician's Touch. Uh, when you use Hand of Healing on a creature, you can also end one disease or one of the following conditions affecting them. Blinded, deafened, paralyzed, poisoned, or stunned. Yep. Okay. Is he diseased? Are you... Maybe. Yeah, what are you trying... Are you trying any to of those... Oh, do I pick one? I think you pick um... disease or... One of the following. What if he has like three diseases on him? Ooh, okay. Well, we'll I, think it's, I think disease or poison is the most likely. I'm gonna start with disease. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with disease. Uh, you focus and uh, push the energy into his body, um, and almost immediately you watch as this kind of green tint around the base of his neck. <laughs> dissipates in the three slits at the base of his neck feel and <laughs> then he's kind of like <laughs> actually he, he wouldn't uh, be because he'd still I, have the water breathing but it was fun anyways yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's the other guy? yeah that's what i'm gonna go try to do um all right uh once i make sure as was okay i'm gonna head over to the other guy this one um and he says you mind if i touch you i'm gonna try and heal you he kind of gives you this like oh, I guess kind of like you like he's it. just like yeah he's Why just kind of like got this given up on life what is scenario. life yeah alright I, I attempt the same thing to him I attempt to hand of healing and cure a disease on him okay um and now I get the big heals what the I shit need God. This, the effect on this drought is not as rapid as Ezra's. But okay. over the course of the next about five to ten minutes, the greenness dissipates, the gills shrink, um, and eventually, by the end of it, uh, he's standing on dry land, breathing. Hey, good job, right. Matt. Well, speaking of which, I uh, pull out breaking... Uh, Breaking what is it? Water. Breaking, breaking water. Got to gotta break that water. water. <laughs> <laughs> My water broke. Oh, oh shit! You disgusting. My water broke. Motherfucker. <laughs> and I He's naming uh, in the back and be like, "Thank you. Pretty good. Doing that little Actually, water well for thing you. was really cool." All right, and I put her back on All my right. belt. The scenario resolved. I yell from across the island. Yeah, it's real cool. 
<laughs> you all gain. Can I take the green mark off of me now? Yeah, you're good. For the defeat of Ilun the Aboleth and his mind controlled hordes, you gain 1500 experience. To be fair, I did not leave my dome in that entire endeavor. <laughs> yeah, no, you're fine. Um, also of note, there's a lot of other stuff going on, but also of note, um, there is there are there's piles of stuff on and around this petrified Yo, OTS. Say no more. I like, you're right, stuff. if you say stuff. Uh, and when by by stuff, I mean like it's covered in odds and ends and trinkets and things like that and there are they're just piles of coin around I its love feet. odds and ends and trinkets together yeah, odds and ends and coin especially i love money okay <laughs> so um fuck it i mean once I'm i don't feel like dying i'm gonna start looking at it <laughs> okay um, you find the following in coinage, uh, 3,300 copper pieces, 670 silver pieces, and 350 gold pieces. Oh, Lord. Okay. Lordy. And, and then here's the other thing. Like you, there are, there are legitimately dozens and dozens of little trinkets here. Um, rusty spear tips, uh, a little leather cap hats with uh uh odd dongles on them there's a lot of stuff here to actually like, like to filter through stuff you're gonna have to like while we're while we're short resting i would have casted detect magic i was gonna say this sounds like ezra's detect magic yeah, this, this would have been uh there are a number of things that pop out once ezra cast detect magic uh, there is a and and it's basically Bones goes dumpster diving for the, the things that Ezra is calling out. You're it's goddamn like, right, I do. <laughs> Ezra's like, okay, there's a there's a mummified goblin hand over there that's glowing. Um, there's oh, this yeah. uh, there's a you see that little silver teardrop earring hanging off of the the Otiug's like lower jaw, the one right there around. No, not that one, the the other one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. Um, there's a, a rusty gauntlet that's hanging on the tip of one of the Otiug's tentacles. Um, and then there is a uh, an amulet of wood and iron. Uh, it looks very basic, but it looks very old. That's just sitting amongst uh, some of the coinage. Um, and then the last thing that actually pings as far as magic goes is... There's just a leather boot, a single leather boot, um, amidst the pile of shit. Um, looks Weird. relatively unremarkable. It honestly looks like a a, a workman's boot, well worn, but solid. I bring all the shit to Ezra. Yep. There you go. Depending on Every how much. I have for uh, the short rest. I would start identifying. One, Every two, time I go out three, to get something, four, I come back doing something five. funny with you. Okay, um, so there's five things. I mean, you guys can definitely do this in in the hour short rest, but um, technically, doing shit during your short rest doesn't count as a short rest. So you can either short rest or you can like it's one thing to do like one little ten minute thing, but it's another thing we to do I think we multiple spells and every single then time. Then we do this. Okay. Short rest yeah. this. Like you can do that if you want me uh uh Ashes and I can go check out this underwater cave, see if there's yeah, anything yeah, there. Well. While Ezra's uh, doing the identification stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so uh, Risk will is more than willing to actually guide you to that cave if you want. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, so Risk will take Ashes and um, Matashtai, right? Yep. Mm. Bones hey, are staying with gonna, Ezra. How are you guys going to determine what is, is not magic? You just going to take everything? Okay. Well, Probably. We don't even know what's in there. Well, it's a layer. <laughs> Maybe there's nothing. Who knows? Oh, well, all right. That's cool. All right. Never so, would have found that on the map. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, uh, ashes and Matashtai, you follow Risk underwater, and eventually you break the surface and find yourself in a little secret cavern. 
Uh, there's a pebble beach strewn with dead crabs, rotting fish, and treasure. Treasure! Um, there's a lot of coinage here. Quite a few gems just sitting out in the open. Um, and then there's a bunch of, like, shinies and things like that. Why, so, why, are we, why, is, why are you flipping us off? What did we do? Because he just got done calculating off money. I just finished doing the last currency. Uh, whatever, it's different. I, mean, I different told cuts. you guys that there was a secret cave before we started doing treasure stuff. You decided to do that ahead of time. I didn't know there was currency I, down there. I don't, know. I don't know what you want me to do about it. All right, um, so let's just go ahead and get this all kind of like situated. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, but um, between the two of you, you should be able to get things uh, all squared away. You find this. Uh, 400 copper pieces, 8,000 silver pieces, 3,700 oh gold pieces, and 110 platinum pieces. You find this is this is the treasure hoard as far as like coinage goes. That shit out there on the oh. island, fuck that shit, right? Um, and then there are a uh, uh, numerous gemstones, right? Um, all marked, you know, 100 GP gemstones, an amethyst, a crystal barrel, etc., etc. Um, there are a couple of different um, trinkets in here um, as well. Um, and I'm just going to give you this, give you guys this list. This is the other shit that you find. You find a copper goblet, a tarnished and dented silver pitcher, and a rotted leather bracer inset with three peridots. 500 gold each? 1500 gold? They're, Damn! They're... Oh, I hope those are bracers of unarmed defense. Uh, Damn! No, the, the bracers are not magical. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, you do find a corked bottle that has a piece of parchment inside it. Um, and you find a large white prism Ooh, interesting clearly this is magical um and uh, honestly uh you guys are able to figure out what is worth stuff here because there doesn't seem to be anything worthless here except for fish skeletons gotcha so, um you know i ask risk uh is there anything that help you and your your friends back home? Is, is money a like, thing for you? He kind of like tilts his head and he says, We do not use the metals. Not for anything but weapons or cages or locks. Damn, he's the opposite nets of me. or hooks or... You know, he just starts listing things off like they're all like, he, and he he just doesn't like seem like he's gonna stop. So he, he you know, he just don't want to be rude. Kind of keeps going, yeah, and eventually no, he just kind of like he just kind of like Forrest Gump trails off and goes. I think that's that's about it. That's all we all use right, the uh, medals for, and none of it was like trading checking. or bartering. <laughs> All right, uh, so we kind of pack everything up. There were a couple other things you mentioned that you didn't type in there. What were they again? Oh, right. Uh, sorry. There is a uh, corked bottle containing a parchment, a piece of parchment. Okay. And a large white prism. Okay. Um, we'll grab all that stuff. While that is happening... Um, Ezra has been, and there you guys are away probably for 20 minutes, you know, gathering up all this shit. Um, Ezra is casting detect magics on a number of different things. We're just gonna go down the list. Um, Ezra, okay. Um, the mummified goblin's hand. Oh, that was real shit. I thought that was an example. Um, it has a little chain around it. Um, and I guess I probably should have described this. Um, but, uh, it's, uh, it, it's alive. It's moving. Oh, no. Not again. With that. That'll be a fist again. Fuck that. Um, and as you, as you, uh, as you cast identification on it, do that? Um, really cool? 
you realize that you have no, even with identification, you have no fucking clue what this thing does. You just know someone can attune to it. Oh, God. Oh, fuck yeah. that. Should not I do even, it? not even once. Um, Dude, I, I'm this, a goblin lord. This doesn't even register as a as a type of magic to you. Like this is not a school of magic to you. <laughs> this is some crazy mumbo jumbo no. shit. Oh, maybe we should do it up top where we can get help if need be. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Do it. You know, uh, maybe, maybe it's gonna, it's gonna, that. it's gonna be done. It's gonna be done. Oh, it, but, it, but the it, chain like... around it, by the way, like it, it's twitching this entire time, right? But Ugh. the chain around it seems to have it bound. Like it's, it's not like a big chain, by the way. It's just like a little, like it's kind of like a, like two or three necklaces, like looped in on each other, all around the hand, and it seems to have just bound the hand. Oh, dude, this is some demon mm -hmm. summoning just shit. Make sure to leave those chains right there. <laughs> Fuck where they are. The silver gods of. The silver teardrop earring, okay. Um, uh, you identify it. It is a common magic item, um, and it has a very simple effect of um, has a very common effect or very simple effect of purifying up to ten gallons of water when the earring is dipped into it um, once per day useful um the rusty gauntlet mm -hmm. makes the wearer and their equipment immune to rusting or acidic destruction from creatures like rust monsters or oozes oddly specific it's yeah these are very weird specific items but, it but, also but, it also is a common magic item this, so, this is some puitoa bullshit item this itself happened. is rusted yes but it yes. itself <laughs> Jay, jay's that having that <laughs> jay's That's done stupid. with it um the amulet made from wood and iron right it has again another common item uh, it makes it so that you cannot be frightened by a creature that you have defeated in battle before. Uh, okay, well, it's, it was okay. like, can't be frightened? And then we added some caveats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the boot, the single boot has a strong um it has a strong aura of enchantment upon it but uh when you cast identification on it you realize it is a part of a pair and without the pair you cannot figure out what it does a boot diving i dive into the water looking for a boot okay. um <laughs> it's Matash, I spend some of this time searching the lake can you, bed can, for can you cast boots. attack magic on me? Or is it a self-only thing? I think it's self-only. 930 gold? Self-only. Oh. We rich, bitch! I, I mean, I, I, could, I could borrow the cap and, and cast it and go yeah, for it. Yeah, I, I take I take the cap and I plop it on your head. And then I take the ring off and I I'm put it on your finger. The cloak of, of, of badassery. Oh, and then okay. you could well, show me where to go, back. and the two of you, the two of us, could go on an adventure. Okay, we can do that. Um, is the cloak of the manta ray attunement though? Like, do you have to sit and attune no. to it? That's okay. Not. Ashes, right. is that, is that okay? Uh, for what? I'm um, sorry, I was too busy. Marvel Ezra wants yeah. to borrow no, your, your cloak. Borrow your your cloak. And oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's 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 not my cloak. It's our cloak here. It's my cloak. Okay. So I then channel another detect magic. Gotcha. And he. You guys are here for like two and a half hours between oh, 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 and the detect magic oh, oh, and oh, the oh, identifies. If they, if they start uh, lake diving, I get bored. We do yeah. a full on. <laughs> with Ezra uh, at the lead, we do a full on deep dive. <laughs> so, but honestly, the so the. 
the lake is about 60 feet deep in its deepest parts. Um, it does not take you guys very long to do a full sweep or investigation of it. Um, there are uh, skeletal remains across the bottom of this lake, but it That's seems small. as if it has been meticulously picked over, um, almost as if a aboleth once lived here okay. and it Those was basically BDS, a yeah. half dragon and picked up absolutely fucking everything on the bottom of this lake and put it in its secret stash. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, well, you know. I, I get bored while they're doing this and I just start cutting down to Abilith Key. Sure, absolutely. Uh, uh, roll me a bone carving. All right, well, let me tell you what I'd like. Okay. Really, I just want the entire lining of its mouth as if it is like one big spike strip. Oh, okay, okay. Like a spike um, whip. Like just its gums and that teeth. that might actually be so it's not going to be necessarily difficult, but that might be a little more challenging than your normal stuff because normally you okay. just remove yeah. all the skin with your you know that's right. In. So this is actually maybe a little more challenging. Um, still roll yep. me a uh, bone carving and we'll go from there. Bone carving. What I roll? Eighteen. That's fine. Eighteen. I don't really care. This creature. He's a CR ten. But that's fine. I don't need rare from him. Uh, yeah, you are unfortunately. Uh, you don't do the greatest job because this isn't the thing that you don't normally keep flesh intact. Um, so you, in the effort to do that, you keep the flesh intact, but you actually end up breaking quite a few of the teeth. Um, comparatively, uh, basically turning it into an uncommon catch. Um, That's fine. But you do have it. Hell you basi- yeah. You basically have, like, the interior of a lamprey. Nice. Your boy's gonna do cow traps good. So weird. <laughs> okay, um... So you guys don't find anything on the bottom of the lake with your sweep, your de- 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 detect magic sweep. Um, the other things that you have found... Um, How much that way? So there's also the uh, t- 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 the corked bottle and the large white prism. Are you checking that with stuff? Uh, they're they're both magical. You have detect magic up during at least one of the times that this shit is brought within range of you. So um, the corked bottle uh, or the parchment is magical and the large white prism is magical. So I'm assuming you're also I, identifying those. I, I assume so. If if. Uh, the, uh, parchment is a spell scroll, um, of magic weapon. Nice. Magic weapon. Magic weapon. Um, and the large white prism. Hair of bag of holdings now, huh? Is a gem of brightness. What does that do? I don't know. look it up okay yep. it was a bunch of stuff it was a bunch of Funky. stuff Gem all right bright. Yes. and oh, and with it. that paste 50 what? charges yeah it has oh, a lot of charges shit. um but it doesn't i don't think it it doesn't oh, recharge it doesn't oh, okay yeah. <laughs> it just has 50 charges period for the and rest of forever done. yeah <clears throat> um anyways uh, you, you guys, flashlight, dude. you, you defeat Elune the Aboleth, barely surviving this encounter with him by the fucking skin of y'all's teeth. God damn it. Yeah, like honestly. right there at the fucking end. Oh my God. Shitty if, roll, shitty if, roll, shitty roll. If Mitch hadn't stunned him, he probably just would have killed Ezra with his layer action and maybe also killed Bones. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Also, oh, like, yeah. the three tail attacks against Bones that all missed. All missed. Yeah. All missed. The final was... tentacle that missed and the three tails attacks that all missed, right? Yeah. Um, also, he had a plus six constitution saving throw. He wasn't, like, rolling, like, he just needed, like, a nine or better to beat your fucking oh, God. DC. Like, you know? Actually Ooh. insane, dude. Like, Y'all's get out of luck. The gods this decided, Jeremy. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> 
That's fine. It's good. That's good for you guys. That's good. I'm happy for <laughs> it's you. It's good for you. It's good. I'm, I'm happy, happy you, you didn't die, but I wanted what? to kill you. Uh, I mean, you know, not not quite, but still. Okay. Um, <laughs> but after defeating the the Aboleth, um, and after his his minions, their mind control broken, after they flee, uh, the party is able to to rest up, heal their wounds, loot the Kuatoa sanctuary <laughs> yeah, whatever finders keepers oh is this what this is oh no it's and, too bad we're we're liberators and then liberators um, close. we are gonna go to break and when we come back we will see what the plan moving forward for is is for our intrepid uh venturing band so thanks for watching we'll see you in just a few minutes bye everybody